welcome to my channel e tutor monastery hi friends welcome to another part of set theory series in this video we will discuss the types of sets in my last videos of this series i have already discussed the basic concept of set theory roster method set builder method descriptive method and solve lots of exercises you can find all the links below in the description box now let's start the types of sets Please subscribe to the eTutor Monastery channel and press the bell icon to get all the latest notifications and updates. The types of sets are empty set, singleton set, finite set, infinite set, equal set, equivalent set, universal set, subset, proper subset, superset, proper superset, power set, disjoint set. overlapping sets now we will discuss one by one let's start with empty set a set that doesn't contain any element is called an empty set empty set also called the null set or the void set it is denoted by phi and in roster form phi is denoted by empty bracket so if a is a set then a equals to the empty bracket equals to 5 so cardinal number of empty set is ne equals to 0 let's have an example capital e equals to x such that x belongs to capital n and x is greater than 8 but less than 9 and this will be a null set because there is no natural number between number 8 and 9 singleton set If a set contains only one element then it is called a singleton set. Example set S equals to a single element 5. So cardinal number of singleton set equals to 1. Now have another example. Capital B equals to x such that x is an even prime number. Now there is only one prime number which is even that is 2. That's why B is also a singleton set, finite set. Set with finite number of elements is called finite set. Example: F equals to x such that x belongs to capital N, and x is greater than zero but less than twenty-five. So this set represents a finite set. Let's have another example. Set of alphabets: capital A equals to all the alphabets so this set is also an example of finite set now another important concept an empty set is a finite set since the number of elements in an empty set is finite that is zero in finite set a set with infinite number of elements is called an infinite set example x such that x belongs to capital p and p is the prime number then it represents all the prime numbers with no limits so this is an example of infinite set equal sets two sets are said to be equal sets if they both have exactly same elements now let's have an example if a set a has elements 3 2 7 9 and another set b has elements 9 3 7 2 then a and b are equal therefore we can write a equals to b so this sets are equal sets equivalent sets two sets are equivalent if their cardinal numbers are same this both side arrow symbol denotes the equivalent set seven example If a set A has elements 1 2 3 then the cardinal number of set A is 3 and another set B if has elements A C B then the cardinal number of set B is also 3 therefore cardinal number of A equals to the cardinal number of B and this sets are equivalent sets and we can represent this in this way set A equivalence to set B The next one is universal set. A universal set is a set that contains all the elements of other sets. 
including its own elements. Universal set is usually denoted by the symbol capital U. Let's have examples of universal set. If a set A has elements 1, 2, 5, 6 and set B has elements 3, 9, then U is the universal set which have all the elements of A and all the elements of B. Now let's have another example. Set U is a set of alphabets and set V is a set of vowel and set C is a set of five consonants. So the elements of set V and set C are already included in set U. So U is the universal set. Subset A set P is a subset of set Q if every element of set P is also the member of set Q. Subset is denoted as like this. This symbol is used to denote is a subset of or is contained in. So we will read this as Q is a subset of P or Q is contained in P. Every set is a subset of itself. That is, P is a subset of P and Q is a subset of Q. Empty set is a subset of every set. Example of subset Find the list of all the possible subset of set C that contain elements A, B, C. So the subsets of set C are this. Here the first subset ABC is a set with three elements. Then 2, 3, 4 are the set with two elements each. Next 5, 6, 7 are the set with one element. And 8 is the empty set which is also a subset of set C. So set C has 8 different subsets. So the general rule is total number of subset of a set with n elements is 2 to the power n. In other way, in this case, carnality of set C is 3. So the number of subset of set C is 2 to the power 3 that is equal to 8. Proper subset A proper subset of a set A is a subset of set A but not equal to A. In other words, if set B is a proper subset of set A, then all elements of set B are in set A. But set A must contain at least one element that is not in set B. And it will represent like this. And we will read this as set B is a proper subset of set A. Example of proper subset. Set A has elements 1, 4, 5 and set B has elements 1, 5. Then B is a proper subset of A because all the elements of B contain in set A. Again set A has one element extra that is 4. So we can say B is a proper subset of set A. Another set C has elements 1, 5, 4. So C is only a subset of A but it is not a proper subset of A because set C and set A has equal elements. So C is equal to A not a proper subset of A. Okay? Superset If set A contains all the elements of another set B then set A is a superset of set B. This symbol is used to denote superset and this will read as is a superset of. Example of superset If set A is a set of alphabets and set B is a set of vowels then B is a subset of set A 
and A is a superset of set B and it will represent in this way. Proper superset a proper superset of set A is a superset of A but not equal to A. In other words, if B is a proper superset of A, then all the elements of A are in B, but B contains at least one element that is not in A. Let's have an example. If A is a set with elements 1, 3, 5 and B has elements 1, 3, 4, 5, then B is a proper superset of set A. In other way, if set C has elements 1, 3, 5, then C is a superset of A, but it is not a proper superset of A. Why? Because C is equal to A, and C must have at least one element that is not in A. Only then C will be the proper superset of A. As set B has element 4 that set A doesn't have, that's why B is a proper superset of A, not set C. Okay? Power set. The collection of all subsets of set A is called a power set of A. Power set is denoted by P of A. Let's have an example. If A has elements M and N, then the power set of A will be look like this. Actually, in P A, every element is a set. So the number of elements of P A is 4. In general, the number of elements in power set A equals to 2 to the power x, where x is the number of elements in set A. Disjoint sets. Two sets are said to be disjoint sets if they don't have any common elements. Example, if set A has elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and set B has elements 7, 8, 9, then set A and set B doesn't have any common elements, right? So A and B are disjoint sets. Overlapping sets. Two sets are said to be overlapping sets if they have at least one element in common. Example, if set A has elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and set B has elements 3, 4, 5, then 3 and 4, these two elements are common in both of the sets. So A and B are overlapping sets. We have learned the types of sets. In my next video, I will discuss about the Venn diagram. So, bye for now. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share and comment. If you wait to subscribe to my channel, then please subscribe immediately. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications of my new uploads first.